Hello everybody, it's them and welcome back to Zoo Tours. Today we are touring the zoo as Zoo Zurich Recreation by Net Effect. I hope I pronounced that correctly. As always, the Steam um, list is linked down below, so go check the zoo out for yourself. It says this, this is my approach to recreate the famous Swiss Zoo Zurich. This isn't an exact replica, but it matches my childhood memory of the zoo. Of course, the former Rhino area was transformed two years ago into an Austrian section, and I did not consider to rebuild the newest Serigenti Savanna, nor the tropical Mazzola house, because the performance would be too low. I spent nearly a year building this zoo. And that shows, it really does. I, I can't even say how enormously impressed I am by this zoo. It looks really great. Um, but before we go into the video, I do like to apologize. Um, apparently, I was when I was recording the actual zoo tour, I was having two mics on, like the mic of my microphone, obviously, and apparently also the mic of my webcam. So the sound is a little bit scuffed. It's like it's, uh, I sound like a Sims 4 alien, and you can hear me twice sometimes. I try to fix it. I fix it on most areas, so I'm really sorry if it bothers you. But um, otherwise, just mute it and set up your own music because this zoo is really worth watching and I really really enjoyed I mean you can see it by the cinematics it looked absolutely amazing and I am profoundly sorry that I messed it up with my um, bad performance and microphone checks because apparently I never do that otherwise I would have fixed this problem anyways with no further ado let's get into the video and again very sorry about the sounds we just came through the entrance and we have a path that is going to our right and one's going to our left. I like always going left. Um, there are a lot of notifications in this zoo. Um, I already fixed some because some of the animals were quite dehydrated, so I fixed that for you. Um, first off, we have this food court. It seems, so let, let's go in and see. Oh, we have a nice little shop, just a memento. Some toilets, ooh. With a mirror here as well, nice gold, I like it. I like this as well with all the bottles that you have and the food. Makes it feel like it's a real, you know, takeaway diner. Really clever. Then here we have some restaurants. Nice. I like this as well, like a div div division. Like you separate it where the queue is and where people can just normally walk. Here again with, ooh, lovely. We have Pip Shop Water and Monsieur Fritz. Nice. And this kind of reminds me of the queue that you have at Disney. I like it. I like this as well. Nice separation of uh, eating areas. Nice. Now, I have never been to Zurich Zoo, so um, I've seen pictures of it. And I know the elephant habitat because, you know, the architecture of that is pretty cool. But otherwise, I don't really know all much about it. So I'm going to be surprised, I guess. I also really like this. Like, it's a recreation. So then you really have to take things in consideration, like play things for the children. And this is absolutely amazing. I love the way this this, this is. Also with the uh, hip, hippity hop, no, it's not a hippity hop. I don't know what to call this in English. I forgot the words. Whoops. I can hear animals, but I want to, I don't want to go in there. I want to go up here. I want to see what there is. Ooh. We have birds. Oh, that's nice. Obviously we don't have birds in Planet Zoo, but look, you've made parrots. Out of what is this made of? I have to see. Circle. Nice. What is awesome. That is very cool. Very cool indeed. I really like that. That's really cool. And here you have more, and then you hear this red one and this blue one. That's really nice. I really like the looks of that. So there's a pathway here. Uh, it says staff only, but you know, today I'm staff. I'm just gonna go in there and we'll see. Probably gonna lead, oh, it's gonna lead to the entrance. That's clever. So, oh, oh, it's in, in English. Uh, in, it's not in English, it's in German. Ooh, okay, so exit, I know that. Lamas are lamas. Schild Kreutzenhaus, that's tortoises, I think. And then you have Affenhaus, which is the monkey house. And Brillenbeer, um, I think that's a bear. This reminds me kind of a Dutch word for glasses. That's probably not it, um, but those are bears. And here we have Nees 
Hearn house. So that's the rhino. And I can see them walking away now. Oh, wait, there's one here. It also said be quiet, but you know what? We ain't gonna be. Oh, I really like this. This looks nice, the way it just goes into the water. I like it, they can actually walk on top of there. That's really nice. Let's just appreciate this architecture because I didn't realize that up until now. But this is really cool with the glass panels that you have here and the roof textures and then these plastic pieces and it's connected to the other pieces. That looks really nice. Oh, it's running away. So, okay, let, let's chase it. Also, wow, look at these barriers. This is giving me so much inspiration. And you can hear all the animal noises and like the coming from these speakers, which I really love the ambient noises. Ah, yes, I can totally see it from here. <laughs> oh, they have this really amazing big space. This is really nice. It's the entrance there, little bamboo things. Nice. So originally, like I thought they would have this and then like perhaps this bit, but there's more. Oh, and now they're going away again. Oh, I guess they're getting food. That's really nice. They just look, they're eating. And this one's going after something else. Yes. Go eat. I don't know what that one's going to do. Probably going to eat as well. Okay. So they're eating. So let's just observe the other parts. So you can see the other parts from that area as well. Ooh, I love the way the mud pit is really sunken into the, to the ground. It makes it almost invisible. And you have a lot of play toys or play things. I like it. Here as well with the tree. And then it just bloop. I like it, I really enjoy that. Then you have some water. Nice, okay, let's get back to the path. You know, just um, so we can find our bearing again. Okay, so there are a lot of people standing there, so it has to be something there. So this would be the shield curtain house. So the tortoises, which they're there. They're all marching up for food, probably. I mean, look at that, that's a whole it's, it's like a parade. That's really cool. So they were all sleeping there. And then they're just going up here for food, I guess. Oh, they share a habitat with parrots. Nice. That's nice. Nice. Okay, so, oh, we have some exhibits there. So in here, what I do see is that, like you don't have glass in here. And um, I don't know what it is in real life, obviously, but I would have put glass in here just because children, they might pet the tortoises and I don't think they're allowed. But anyways, and here we have some exhibit animals. We have tiny tortoises and Goliath something. I don't exactly know what that is. That's really nice. I like the way that you've put the theme of the actual exhibits on the back of these, you know, walls. Really makes it nice. And the exit sign. That's really cool. And we have all these lights. Okay, let's go to the llamas. Let's follow the path. This looks really nice. I mean, like there aren't animals here right now, but it looks really nice. And from here, you can actually see hippos. Okay. Oh, I want to say the rhinos, but there are hippos here. They weren't on your signs. Because I know the German word for hippos is not llama. <laughs> ah, that's really cool. I love the waterfall. Pick me hippos. Look, they're in the water. Nice. Very nice. I love the way you did the, like the foliage under here. Oh, there's another one. Because that really looks like sea plants now. Or like underwater plants. And that's really clever. Also, the little bit of steam you have here with the waterfall. It makes it look real because, you know, water always splashes up at waterfalls. So you always see this little bit of a mist. I really like it. I also like that you have a uh, fence here. 
Realistically, um, there probably should be a fence around here as well because knowing me, I would fall off. And I love it. Same with the elephants across here. Nyx looks really nice. So the monkey home. Um, kind of want to see the llamas. I guess if I'm, I'm afraid if I go there, I'll miss this. Oh, seals. Wow. That's really cool. I love this little glass barrier that you have. That's really cool. Oh, look at him flopping about. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. And that's a little one. That's lying there in the sun. And they have like multiple areas of water. They have like this little bit. I love these ones just lying in the water. Or in the sun. And they're all lying in the sun. And then you have this big body of water. Which is really nice. And I'm guessing, yeah. If you go through there, there's another viewing point. You have this little splash ups. This looks really nice. Really, really nice. And they even have like this little shelter. What's that? Oh, you made it out of the... I want to say curtains, but that's not, not the right words. Today is not my day for English. It's just not. That's really nice. So here, reindeers. I'm guessing that's staff only. I love the way you put this fan, this like this rope here. That's really realistic. I like it. You have some reindeers. Oh, that's really nice. You have babies. Oh, and you have this little inside area as well. Ooh, that scared me. Don't do that. Just made a noise. This is really nice. And then the path, like on the back, that's all staff. And this really reminds me of like the nature that is around Zurich. So that's pretty awesome. Also this rock work, I like it. I didn't even notice that before, but these, those rocks, they look really, really nice. And there they are, the llamas. Okay, I'm just gonna take a quick sip of my tea while we enjoy the llamas. Otherwise my tea is going to get cold. Oh, the, oh it's pooing, of course it is. Every time I do a zoo tour, there's always one animal pooing. Uh, this looks really nice. I love that it's kind of like mountainy or hilly, but not too much. I really enjoyed it. And they have water. Again, with this, these rocks just lined in there. Really nice, really clever. And here you have another inside area, same with the reindeers. This looks pretty darn realistic, and I like that's supposed to be, but Good job. And here we have the antelope or the Thompson gazelle. Let's see what this is. It's a pronghorn antelope. Okay. Oh, I got some. Animal has avoided capture for a long term. Which animal then? Oh no, my penguins have escaped. Oh well. <laughs> Not my problem at the moment. I like this. It's not the biggest habitat. Then again, you know, I, I'm just guessing it's really realistic like this. Also, there's no water in here, but again, that's probably the way it is. And I like that you've like you've been true to the way it is. Or maybe there should have been water. No, there shouldn't. All right. And then you have the bisons. Oh, look at this shed that they have with the dormers on top. That looks nice. Really nice. And they're all up here on the hill and then they have this little like water, which is just, you know, going down in the bridge. This is really cool. There's a mud pit as well. Let's follow the water. I love the way that you put like all these um, accelerations in here to like, you get this really fast river idea. And here you like made it splash up, which is really realistic. I like that. Okay, let's see, does it end here? It does, nice, because it looks like it's just float along like there that's really cool same here with the barrier that you have in between you almost don't see like you don't see the fence and that's pretty darn cool i like this this is really cool and then here we have ooh, more llamas and some ostriches oh gosh is one of them dead he's not dead is he oh my gosh is he dead Hello? Oh, oh, he moves. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, for a moment I thought he died. 
I wonder... Oh, that's really cool. You made this yourself. Like this little feeding place. That's so cool. I see people are impressed as well. I like it. And here you can see buildings, which are probably the monkey home, I'm guessing. I'm not quite sure. Like, I remember one time it was a zoo in Germany somewhere, and then an ostrich uh, got close to me to defend it and tried to steal my watch because it was shiny. I never really got so fond of ostriches after that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm clicking all the things. Tiger Schneeleopard, sn which is the snow leopard. Robin? Would that be the seals? And then you have Affenhaus. Okay, yeah, got it. Um, I kind of want to do the inner circle last. I want to go around first. So let's go to the tiger and the snow leopards. Oh, is keeper there? Let's see. Asia, uh, Asian lion. Asian lion. Didn't know we had those. And then step, and here we are with the uh, snow leopard and the tiger. Let's go there first. This is still the other habitat. Uh huh. For a moment, I, obviously they don't, but it kind of looked as like he was opening this this rope. That was really cool, but obviously he didn't. So would this be a habitat as well? I don't see anything, but here there are things. <gasps> Birds! Oh, 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 oh. I know what these are called. They're not flamingos. Oh, I forgot what these are called. That sucks, because this looks really nice. With the green mist. All the rocks, wow. I used to know what these are called, because those are like my favorite birds. Oh, one of my favorite birds. This is like an entire bird section. That's really cool. You can even hear like bird sounds. Ah, bee fowl! That's so real. Cool. So they're mixed with other animals. This is really nice. This is really, really nice. Quite impressed. Staff only. Um, no, thank you. I am staff today. Um, you can. Oh, I love the way that this is. Yeah, let's just go to the front again. Okay. So these are owls. I know that like church owls. And then we have snow owls. Really nice. And then we have. Ooh. At least that's what it's called in Dutch. I don't know if that's called the same in English. Here we have ooh, lions. <gasps> and another animal. Oh no. You can't be in here. Or can you? Apparently you can because you're not going to get attacked. Well, that's rather special. Oh, sorry, Mr. Lion. Also, if you can hear my phone, I'm sorry. Oh, look at the otter just going in there. This is really nice. Again, with a fast flowing river. Really cool. And here it's splashing up against a tree. Really, really cool. Nice. Although, like, perhaps if you would have made it look like it was coming to flow from up here, it could have been the same river that was with the bisons. But you know, that's my stylistic choice. Oh, I do love lions. And in this game, at least I can see the lions from every side because in real life they always hide from me. Which is quite annoying, to be honest. And I'm quiet for a bit, I'm just drinking my tea. So, what's in here? Oh, it's a viewing point. Nice, oh, they have more. Hello, Lioness. So here they have like this inside place. Ooh, to hear the music. Nice. And they're sleeping more. Wow. Lionesses are like my, like so cool. Oh, that lion is really aggressive. He keeps roaring at me. I think I'm just gonna get out of his cage. Viewpoints. Well, let's see what we can view. <gasps> Red panda. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is so, so cute. Can I just screenshot this, please? Just... Probably the thumbnail. 
Because this looks incredibly cute. I mean, look at it. Oh. That's so kawaii. I'm learning Japanese at the moment, so, you know. I'm, I'm flexing my Japanese skills. <laughs> and disappeared into the moss. Oh. Okay, well. Yep. I love this little stairway bit, and then it goes up, up there. With all the foliage that you have here. Like, you can see them, and at the same time, you can't. That's really nice. Really, really nice. That's so cool. And I can see, like, these are, like, trees that you sunk in. Really cool. Also, with the ivy on the tree. Wow. Nice. Awesome. Good job. Okay, so here we have... A viewpoint. Let's go up. The Ooh, snow leopards. I love the way it is embedded into the rocks. That's really cool. Now let's see if we can. Sp oh, I spot. I spot them. Well, right, let's go in. I have only been to the zoo with snow leopards like twice. Ah, it jumped. And I was just fast asleep. They're so fast. Did I hear another one or did I hear wolves? Oh, well, probably imagining things. This is really cool. I mean, look at these rocks. Look at the rock wall, man. That's really cool. That must have taken you some time. Hey, how long did this zoo even take you? This is so cool. And then they have a little sleeping shed here. Really nice. And I believe they also have an inside you can close it. Like, oh, there are more! There's three. So you have five in total. I like that you sunk it in a little bit into the wall so it looks like it's actually coming out of the wall. And people can view it here. That's really clever. That's really nice. The big scratching pole. I, I like that there's not a lot of actual uh, foliage in here because that's probably not really realistic. I love it. That's really clever. Nice. Okay, so on our right we have... What's in here? Wolves. So I did hear wolves. I love wolves. Like a few years ago we got wolves in the Netherlands in the zoo and I immediately went. And now we just have wolves in real life in the Netherlands, so that's pretty cool. Actually, when I went to uh, when I went on holiday last year, I was in Switzerland. Oh, and I was standing. Oh, I was driving with the car, and there were actually wolves on the road. And I was like, "Well, excuse me, that's really cool and kind of creepy." So I didn't stop. <laughs> wow. But you know, I saw a real wolf in like the real wildlife, which is pretty awesome. So in here is oh. The keeper with the staff entrance, that's pretty nice. I like that you can see them from both sides and then you have this hill. So they can be either on this side of the hill or on that side. And they can be on top and you can see like everything. I also like the change in fences. So here it's a bit lower, but then there are like fences so the wolves can't get there. That's really nice. I really, really like that. That's really clever. So what's in here? Is there anything in here? Mm. I'm gonna guess either a tiger or a bear. And seeing the cave like that, I'm guessing a bear. I'm not quite sure. I believe this is part of it as well. Hello? And oh! It is a tiger. Oh wow. They have a really big habitat. Oh, also, FPS lags. Why now? Oh, it's sleeping. Can you hear it sleeping? That's so cool. So is there only one tiger in here? Oh, wait, there's the other one. I'm guessing I'm getting a lot of notifications. Let me just delete all of those like, stop bothering me. <laughs> it's giving me lag spikes. Oh, there's the other one. They're fast asleep. Just like in real life. Ooh, I love the top. That's really nice. 
Yeah, let's get back to the path before I, you know, lost, lose my way. Oh, they're all there. I'm just screenshot that as well. That's really cool. Okay. Ah, lovely signs. So, Asian lion, which I'm guessing should be African lion. I'm guessing tiger, stepper. Uh, let's go to the stepper. So, I like these little flags that you've put around. Really clever. Okay, we've seen that. Um, don't think. What's this? Viewpoints. Viewpoints for what? It's for those these very enthusiastic people. Ah! For the. Oh, the tiger is awake now! Of course, it's pooing. What the hell? I believe like animals just like to torment me because that one's doing it now as well. Okay, well, we're leaving. <laughs> Also, I'm getting so many messages that my game can't keep up with it. Just, you know, it's not the piece count in this zoo because that's not a problem. It's literally the amount of messages. I think I'm just gonna pause it for a second and then I'll press play when we're at the habitat. <laughs> okay. So what do we have here? Oh, we have camels and bison and more pea files, which I'm guessing you shouldn't be in here. Or maybe you should. I don't know. Should you be in here? Oh, there's a walkthrough habits as well. Nice. And they have little ones. Aww, little camels. Nice. So here we have more camels. Now these camels that didn't have water, um, I put a water there because you know they were kind of dehydrated. <laughs> Lovely viewpoint with the tent, really clever, really nice. Same here as well. You have this really like almost like desert village, which is really nice. Let's see, elephants is elephants. That's the bear. Um, well, let's keep going around and let's go to the elephants. And again, I'm pressing pause because of the amount of messages I'm getting. I'm sorry. No entry, but it's a walk through habitat. <laughs> it's a walk through gate. Ah, that's, that's nice. Oh, this is your staff village. Nice. This looks really cool. This looks. Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna say, this looks really German. <laughs> That's nice. So here... I don't know what's in here. Ooh, we have like an entire savanna. So we have... Antelopes. Nice, this looks really nice. It's a really bare space, you can see animals really well. That's actually really nice. Was this the way that we're supposed to be heading? Yes, okay. I like this as well. I like these little, uh, kind of like farms. That's really clever. I really like that. Elephants and solar. Okay, well, let's uh, head in then. We're going down and down and down. I, like the second I press play, I'm, I just get lag spikes, so I'm sorry, we're gonna have to put it on pause. The amount of like errors I'm getting, I'm very sorry. That's something to, uh, to keep in mind for you for your next zoo. Um, make, make sure the animals have like all their needs or either turn it off, that's possible as well. Mazo Mazola TBD, to be constructed? So I don't think that's... Well, let's go to the oh, uh, elephants first. Ooh, this looks like a lovely viewing spot. Ah, yeah, that's the building I know. And here we have a little place for the elephants. They're not here though, so we're gonna go on to our next spot, see if we can spot them. Ah, oh, there they are! The Indian elephants. Okay, I'm gonna carefully press play. 
so I want to see the waterfall. That's really nice. Oh, they have a baby. Oh. Again, here as well with the mud pits. You have like made that look so nice. Really, really impressive. They have more elephants back there, and you have some antelopes or gazelles. You have a lot of elephants. I like that. I like having a lot of animals in my zoo. I really like it. I oh, have lights. Nice. This looks really cool. Okay, so we've had the path. No, it goes all the way down and it goes around. Okay, I'm just gonna take screenshots from this because you know this looks really cool. Just like that. Possible thumbnail, not sure yet. Alright, let's uh ooh, shop. This looks nice. So we could go that way or this way. Uh we're gonna go left. I like a left. Oh, I love all the foliage that you've put here. It makes it look really overgrown. I like it. Oh, and there's an entrance. Nice. So this is the big elephant home and uh, like obviously the inside, which like there could be animals as well, other animals, uh, elephants and other animals. So you have some pea files walking around here. I love the way you did this rock work and these with the iron beams. That looks really nice. And here you have like the sleeping areas. You have so many elephants in here. It's insane. Oops. I absolutely love it. I really, really love this. Like the guests can walk all around. That's really nice. Really. Oh, they can even go under. Oh, so you can see the water if they're in the water. That's nice. Maybe this up upstairs area, which obviously like guests can't go. In real life you could, but in the game you can't. And here you have more outside, which are like a lot more animals. Look, there are even more elephants here. And one is in the water. Nice. Can we just appreciate, like, the top of this dome? Like, uh, I hope you didn't all hand place them. You make sec made sections? Yeah, you made sections. Good. Like, that's 69 objects. Let's see how much it actually is. See, over a thousand. That is a lot. And that's really cool. That's really nice. I mean, look at how big the elephant's section is. That's like... One, four, one third, one fifth of the zoo. That's really nice. I really enjoy that. Okay, oops. Well, we're spacing out a bit. Let's make sure that we are right back on track. There we are, we're back on track. We are running. I can hear that an animal has escaped and these people are running from it. But whatever. <laughs> Let's just put it on pause. So here we have some swans. Oh wait, flamingos. Oh wow, why did I say swans? That was weird. And we have... Ooh. The dwarf caiman. Nice. That's really nice. That's so cool. And some ostriches as well. That's so cool. I love this. I love the way you've embedded it and that you can't escape. That's nice. So, uh, gebiet. Gebiet is area, that's feucht. Um, feeling, I don't know, I don't know what feucht gebiet is. <laughs> okay, um, Huftierwüste, elephants, uh, Huftierwüste, that's like the, um, oh, I know what it is, but I can't find the English word. It's like, is it like a desert? It's not a desert. It's like a savanna, right? Let's see if I'm correct. Yes, I'm correct. A savanna. Nice. That feels good. Okay, so now we're here. Wait, penguins, water birds. Oh my god, we have to go back to this path. There are penguins here. Somewhere where are the penguins? Ooh, I like this. This looks really nice. <gasps> penguins! Oh, I love the fact that, like, this was obviously partly built before the uh, aquatic pack. 
came out because you can see the actual you know, penguins there. And then you have some real life penguins, which is really nice. Pressing play, moon. Look at the water, that's really cool. I like penguins, and they have this inside area where they can dive. Nice, so you as a guest can see them here. With the steam, because like obviously they like cold. I love this as well, the ropes, that's quite realistic. Which obviously is your point. Oh, reptile home. How do I get into the reptile home? Oh, here's the reptile. Ooh, birds. Tukan. Oh, nice. Music is quite loud. But this looks really nice. Really, really nice. Awesome. Oops. That's really nice. Night mode. Yeah, well, I'm not doing night mode at the moment. We'll do that in a second. And up here you have more. Oh, you've made it yourself. With little uh, turtles and lizards. That's really cool. And here you have a little shark and fish. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've had the outer circle. Now let's go into the inner circle. Man, this is such a big zoo. I really gotta stop looking at things so long because we're like 35 minutes into recording right now and that is like quite a lot of time. I'm just gonna quickly finish my tea. And here we have, we are entering the pentel. Pentel's like um, doll. No, lower ground area. And here we have a giant anteater, a tapir, flamingos. I love this little bridge that we're walking on, really nice. And it goes over in... <gasps> Capuchin monkeys. Oh, I love monkeys. Look. Oh, and it got scared by this little beaver thing. <laughs> I love the fact that you've made your own animals. That's really, really clever. I really enjoy that. That's really smart. Also, the use of elephant grass is really nice because obviously um, the animals can't walk around elephant grass. And humans can, so that's really nice. So here we have a little food area, I'm guessing. No, we have viewing points for the capuchins. And it's extremely crowded because all these people apparently love capuchin monkeys. Viewpoints. Viewpoints for our bear. Oh, so that's a Malaysian bear. Okay, nice. Oh, uh, again, with the, with the fast water. I mean, it makes such a difference, right? Because this is like the normal water, which it normally would have been, but then you put these accelerations in there, and it makes it look like a lot faster and a lot, you know, more bear-like. Oh, I love the way that you've nailed, nailed all this climbing material for them. With the logs and then the little branches there. This is really nice. I'm really impressed. Same with there. And then the ivy on all the walls. Really, really nice. Like, honestly, really nice. All right, let's go left. Because here we had the rhino. And then if we go here, we are going to the monkey home. Which I really am eager to see because I love monkeys. How do I enter the monkey home? Wait, is there an, oh, there's an enter, an enter here. Wow, there's an entrance here. Monkey home. Can we see? Oh, we have some birds. Now inside buildings, I always find it quite difficult to navigate um, because I often often just flow through walls. So if that happens, sorry. <gasps> They're climbing. Oh, gorillas. Oh, that's so cool. When I The last time I went to the zoo when they were still open, there was a gorilla and it flipped me off. That was really funny. <laughs> like, it just said like that and then it gave me the finger and I was just like, well, excuse me. Oh, and then they have this, this little outside area. Now, I know that this is very realistic, but it always makes me very sad if I see this because they don't really have a lot of outside space. And I know like that's not your fault because you are recreating a zoo. 
but it always makes me very sad that they don't have enough space or like outside space because they, they do need that. And it makes me very sad and I can't help that. But no, it's not criticism on you, that's criticism on you. Oh, Bonobos. No? Orangutans. Oh, I love orangutans. I remember when I did a franchise zoo and I tried to breathe these and it just didn't happen. I was quite annoyed by that. So, do they have an outside area? Because, you know, I don't think I'm going to write an angry letter to the Zurich Zoo. They have this. Oh, and there are lots more. I always feel like the females look so sad. I don't know why. They do have, you know, foliage and grass and climbing materials, which is actually really nice climbing. But they don't have an outside space, and that makes me sad. Ugh. But it looks really realistic, and that's like a plus. Ooh, a little tunnel. So here we have chimps. Wow. I, I, I'm gonna keep saying it again, there's no outside space, and that that's, it physically hurts me. Ooh, that was a nice jump, but the space that they have, it does look nice, and with this little tunnel. And then we go into an outside area. A kind of outside area, I mean, not really, but it's... So far the gorillas had the best outside area. Oh no, I'm lost. Where am I? Oh, there I am. And then you can view them from here again. This looks, this looks really nice though. Like I have to say, I can totally believe this is like the way it is because obviously uh, I've never been there. But it looks really nice and really realistic. So what was, oh yeah, they read the pick me hippo. Let's see, because I feel like we've missed some areas. We had a bear. Um, we've seen that, I believe we've seen it all. Because we went all around, like all around. Then we went to the elephants. Went back. We saw this. Yeah, we maybe saw it all. So let's put this baby into night mode. Let's see how it lights up. Okay, so um, you forgot some areas, but that's fine because I'm not the biggest person to remember lights. Like there are no lights here, but I do have to say with the capuchin monkeys, that's pretty well lit up. Same with the reptile home, which looks really nice in light mode, by the way. That looks really nice. Probably something escaped because people are running away from it. That looks really nice. And here is really well lit, lit up there as well. Here as well. Really nice. Also with the homes. That looks really cool. Okay. Wow. That was our zoo tour for this week. If you have a zoo that you would like to see toured or, you know, your own zoo or a zoo from someone else, or you, maybe you saw something cool in the workshop, don't be afraid to link it to me. There is a link to the Discord in the description. You can join there. And in the Discord, you will find a channel uh, where you can link all your zoos and I will be able to see it and tour it. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the channel. You can even share it with your friends and we can let this community grow. I hope you guys have a very good afternoon, morning or evening, whenever it is that you're watching this. And I will hope to see you on the next video. Bye guys.